everyone, my name is Nikki. I'm an event specialist with Jay's Catering. We're here today in Silverado, California at the beautiful Jirachi Vineyards and Farms. We're gonna sit down today and talk with Corey of Foxtail Florals a little bit about event design. So Corey, will you tell me a little bit about Foxtail Florals and how you got into event production? Sure, well I grew up in a flower shop. I'm a second generation florist. And I also worked in fashion and window displays. So now I get to do all of what I love, all together designing weddings. Foxtail Florals came to life. Um, I started solo about five years ago. And we're a couture floral and event design company. So we work really closely coming up with concepts and working with the brides to understand who they are and the overall design that they want for their wedding. So Corey, if you'll tell me a little bit about the process of when you sit down with the bride and design her wedding, what does that entail? Well, we sit down and we talk about, again, her personality, what she likes, what she's inspired by, um, just finding out a little bit about who she is. It's also important to, you don't always have the groom to be with you. Um, so it's important to find out a little bit about him and find out his likes too because he's a big part of the wedding. <laughs> so people forget that sometimes. So um, it's, it's a true luxury for me when a groom is actually there for a meeting. It's because then I get to see them together and you know paint a picture for them uh, feeling like it's very joined. So what kind of conversation do you have with a bride and a groom who maybe don't know what they want but know that you're good at what you do? How do you help them discover what that style may be? Well, we just start with, um, I'll start, what, what colors What colors do you like? You know, what are the bridesmaids dress colors? And that's okay. like the very basic of, you know, they're coming in not knowing anything, but they probably picked out at least a color. So we'll go from there and say, okay, well, um, based on the color, you know, the, these are the type of flowers that we could use or, you know, going off of their venue even. If you're working in a, within a space that's wide open in the ceremonies and they're just very scenic, all greenery, and there's not a lot of structure to it, you, might, you want to anchor it down with something. So bring in pieces that will just really center, center the bride and groom and bring a focal point to it. Um, or you could be in a venue like Garachi. It has so many structural pieces, trees, uh, different things to pull from that you can really accent and bring to life and just you know infuse with personality. So Corey, obviously weddings are driven by trends and different seasons and styles. How do you figure out what might be trending for a bride who's planning her yet wedding about a year out or um, incorporate what could be up and coming that we may not know about yet? Well, I think it's important to understand the trends that are out. That's what your brides are looking at. So it's important to at least know the trends that are happening. The trick is to look at it in a new perspective of what can I do next to that. I do try to steer clear of oversaturating myself in the trends so my mind can be clear and have room for new ideas and my own concepts. So Corey, what special tips do you have for a bride that are helpful, maybe with budgets or different things that you can offer her with your advice? I would say the number one thing is bef before you actually go out and start buying all the materials, different props, vases, I mean, go meet with a designer. Figure out what they have to offer, what props they have, what fabrics they have, and see if you can use their items and you can incorporate it into your overall budget you can rent the items from them and it saves it does save money because if you think about you're planning a wedding you, you typically have about a year for planning and the moment brides get engaged they like you you get excited you want to run off and and go start gathering items for your wedding because you want to feel a part of it if you meet with a designer towards the beginning process of everything you can figure out what items you have to work with so when you do go out shopping the items you purchase will either add to it or you just rent the items from your designer. So coming back to the venue with the different ways that it plays a part, what are the areas that you tell your brides to focus on to maybe pay more attention to when it comes to the budget and spaces for you to focus on your design? Okay, um, the ceremony, the ceremony aisle, um, focusing on that and just giving it new personality, changing it up a little bit, making it more unique. Um, for example, the aisle runner. You don't always have to do a white aisle runner. You can bring in um, custom fabrics, uh, rugs, uh, make, uh, make a new runner out of 
uh, some a different type of texture or bring in color through there. Um, so focusing a little bit more on the aisle, and that doesn't mean you know putting a whole bunch of stuff down the aisle to make it cluttered. So you want to keep it simple and clean, but still bring in the design aspect and personality through there. And then is there a certain area in the reception space <clears throat> after the ceremony that is a big priority for your guests and for your bride that is going to bring that extra wow factor for the design? Well, the dance floor is another great place to incorporate, you know, personal touches, uh, custom dance floors, doing their names on the dance floor. Um, also focusing on the, the sweetheart table. And what I always like to think about is how are pictures going to look? You know, if you have a centerpiece just right in the middle and the photographer's trying to get pictures of the bride and groom kissing, are those flowers going to be in the way of that? And are they not going to enhance the pictures of the bride and groom? And if they're not, then we need to rethink the design of that to make it work. So Corey, what's your number one piece of advice that you want to share with everyone about working and selecting an event designer? I would say make sure they share your point of view and really get who you are. Um, you want them to be passionate and excited about your event just as much as you are. Another thing is once you do choose them, make sure that you trust them. Trust them to do their job and to make it really special and that their, their design choices are going to benefit you the best. So Corey, I just want to thank you so much for being with us today and sharing all your insight and wisdom. And for everybody watching this, make sure you check out Corey at her website, foxtailflorals.com. Thank you. It was great being here with you.